I think if you really study drumming, and you learn your inversions, you will have so much more variety in your playing and it'll just take you to a new level. Hi, I'm Dorothea Taylor. And you can see from this example here how much I love paradiddles. And if you didn't realize they were paradiddles, I'm going to teach you paradiddles and their different inversions. And you'll have a new perspective on drumming. So the first one that we're going to do is just the paradiddle in its original form. And that's your basic right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And it goes like this. Pair a diddle, pair a diddle. So notice when I play them, I am playing the ghost notes. If you play them all loud, they're just like a lot of noise, like. But if you use the ghost notes, it just makes it tasty. But then we could take it to a new level and put the diddle in the middle. That's what I always tell my students. So let's put the diddle in the middle. Pear diddle a, pear diddle a. And it's easy to think that, for me anyway, and for me teaching my students. Pear diddle a, pear diddle a. And when you speed it up, it's really cool. Okay, that's the first moving of the diddle. The next inversion, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. Diddle, pair, a, uh. diddle, pair, a. Uh. And go ahead and accent the first part of the diddle. Diddle, pair, a, uh. diddle, pair, a. Uh. And bring that up to speed. So you have to work on those to get them a little bit fast. And then the final inversion is right, left, right, left, then change, left, right, left, right. So that diddle is in the middle of the two, remember that. So if you speed it up a little bit, you'll see where that diddle is. Right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. And you're good to go the four different inversions of a paradiddle. So now when you have the four inversions, there are four different ways to do each inversion. So you start moving the accent over. So a paradiddle will now become, instead of pair a diddle, it will be pair a diddle, pair a diddle. So this is what it'll sound like. And then you move it over again. Then you move it over the fourth time. So that takes care of your first paradiddle. Then you start all over again. You take the first inversion. Paradiddle a, uh, paradiddle a. Uh. Now we're going to move that accent over. Paradiddle a. Uh. Move it over one more time. So then you go into the next one and so on and so forth. So you take all four and then start working on the accent inversion part of it. Okay, so I didn't play any paradiddles when I was just doing the regular groove that time, but I used one of the inversions for that fill. And instead of doing a six stroke roll, which is a little bit more complicated, I used the shortened version of a six stroke roll. So it's five because you're, you're ending on the tap. But what it is, is the inversion of the paradiddle. So turn that, what you might think boring paradiddle lesson, into something fun and use these. Mm -hmm. 
So you can see how the paradiddle is used and, and how much you can grow to love them. Once you learn them, you will find yourself playing them and you're not even thinking about playing them. It's a, just a great rudiment to learn and there's just so many things that are possible with them. So thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.